Hi guys, how you doing? Hope you are well and safe and having a great day. I'm having a day of discovery. I've painted this picture in Art Rage 6 today and I've discovered the unclean brush. So today I was going to do a, pen a colored pencil drawing in Art Rage. Uh, I thought that would be fun to do and it didn't quite turn out that way at all. What I ended up doing was um, producing this watercolour painting and it all came about when I chose to use the unclean brush uh, in Art Rage. It's a watercolour brush and I started painting with that once I got the initial sketching and my total direction changed. Anyway, here's the sketch, uh, sketch part. I'm going to speed the, the drawing up in a minute because it's all about the painting, of course. I would say, though, that when you do the sketch, uh, if you want to um, join with me and sort of paint along, I got this image off Pixabay because I've not been out much recently because of the uh, COVID virus. So I'm sort of um, using Pixabay for source material. It's all free images that uh, you're not going to be infringing copyright. If you use them, you can use them commercially and so on. So I've put a link to this source photo in the description below. So if you want to paint along with me, uh, you can. And then what would be really cool would be to see your results posted on Digital Easel. That's a Facebook group um, for uh, people that follow this channel and want to paint digitally. I want a safe environment where they're, they're only sort of sharing photos with their peers because it's a private group and everybody's dead friendly if you've not been there before. There's some uh, painters that have only just started. There's more advanced painters. So it's a mixed group, really friendly nice positive comments and everything so it would be really good if you had a go at this or a subject of your own using the unclean brush and um post that in digital easel so we can see what you've been doing that would be really good fun but anyway i'm sort of speeded up the sketches you can see because i wanted to sort of get that done quick and get into the painting which I'm going to be starting right about now. So I lock my first layer. I've slowed it uh, back down to normal speed again now. So let's create a new layer for the um, painting and lock the first layer. I do lock it, but a bit later on, I unlock it again and uh, get mixed up and paint over the drawing. So, you know, that didn't go quite to plan. Anyway, this unclean brush, you'll notice uh, as I'm painting, if I take the stylus off the screen and start painting again, you do not get um, an hard edge forming. It just merges into it seamlessly. And then you choose a light color and it's like adding a, a, a much lighter wash into that and it bleeds in beautifully. I don't know, I don't know why I've not found this brush before. This is the most realistic watercolour brush I've ever used in any app, really. Um, equal to anything in Rebel. Or, I know Rebel's got all the nice animations where the paint flows and all of that. But this actually performs just like a watercolour brush where you can sort of dilute your paint and um, apply it to it and it washes in. Very realistic. And you can see there, I'm sort of painting in these clouds, taking me time. The other thing is, of course, with Art Rage is you've got total control. You know, the minute you take your brush off the canvas, that is the final result. It's not going to change at all. It hasn't got the subtleness of Rebel. I'm not... I did say it was better than Rebel's brushes, but... Uh, Perhaps I shouldn't say that because Rebel's got this really subtle thing where the paint particles go to the edge of the 
um, brush stroke and so on. So it doesn't do any of that. But it does give you a really realistic looking effect. At this point, I was still going to do a drawing because um, I was just getting the idea was I was going to get a, a, a color wash over the whole of the canvas and then start uh, using colored pencils to paint over it. But now I'm thinking, whoa, hang on a minute. This is beginning to look like a watercolor because I'm adding local color as you can see to the buildings, I've got a little bit of red in there and blue, and then I'm sort of changing up the color uh, for the side of the building. And sort of getting mid tones in there and a bit of light, light color. And I'm thinking this looks just like watercolor. And it's, it's at this point I'm thinking, maybe this should be a watercolor maybe i shouldn't be doing a colored drawing on this at all i think um this painting needs to be a watercolor and i'll save the pencil the colored pencil drawing for another day so unclean brush i use that for about 95 percent 90 percent of this painting let's say and uh, I use it for 100% for getting a coloured wash over the whole of the um, paper. So I'm going to just fast forward it at this point just to uh, get the first wash on and then I'll be back. So there we go, I've got the initial wash on the whole of the uh, canvas. I did use the eraser to lift out a few of those grasses and I'll create a new layer and you'll notice I changed the blend mode to watercolor. Um, and I think that just adds a subtleness to it that allows the colors underneath to glow through because uh, that's what I wanna do. I want to now add some darker tones. So over painting, what I've already done, but just darkening up those shadows. And again, I'm still using the unclean brush. I don't change the pressure, the thinners, the loading or color bleed or anything. I keep everything exactly the same. And then I think uh, maybe I need to just sketch this chimney. I missed the chimney stack off. I missed a few things off actually. But I, I missed the chimney stack off and I thought, let's go back to layer one, unlock it, zoom in and just sketch this in uh, because I, I want to see a little bit of pencil work underneath that. So it sort of fits in with the rest of the uh, painting really. And everything's going quite well, you know, got a little chimney stack drawn in or, or get in there taking me time I actually did it with the unclean brush I thought I was using the pencil but it worked okay I do uh, go back to a pencil and um, for some reason it was in some weird things I just sort of lost the plot a bit choosing the pencils here 
So uh, I'm, I just left this bit in so you could see that, um, you know, sometimes it is a bit of a struggle. And the one I like is the soft tip pencil, but it still does this same weird thing, I think, where it sort of, oh no, now it's working fine now. Before it was like putting in a big block of colour as though the brush had got corrupted somehow. And I start putting in just a few lines and I think, that's enough. That This isn't a drawing now. This is going to be a painting. So I need to get back to that unclean brush and stop drawing. So I got so excited about using this unclean brush again. Start colouring it in. Uh, adding these uh, darker tones. I'm just sort of settling on the colour, colour, softening that up a little bit. And as I start painting into it, I'm actually on layer one look. So I'm still on the drawing layer. Um, and I'm just wondering how long it's going to take me to realise that uh, I'm on this drawing layer. Not yet, apparently. So I keep going. Uh, painting in this shadow on the side of the building so it's going to be it's not going to do what I want it to do because it's underneath the first wash so I'm painting underneath it and I should be painting above it on that layer three that I've set to watercolor mode and um totally oblivious to that I just keep I'm in the zone and I keep painting on the drawing layer so don't make that mistake that's mistake number one And I'm, I think that's a little, just a tad fiddly at that point. And I'm mixing up the colours. Going in with that shadow underneath the building. So I'm using sort of a, a an orange brown there. Just to sort of... Um, pick up the colour in the stonework and then back on this wall again and the beautiful thing about this brush unlike real watercolour is it never dries so you can just leave it for a little while and then go back into it you're not going to get any harsh edges or anything it's going to pick up beautifully so I'm painting with this sort of dark ochre colour getting that shadow in and then I think I start to um, think it's a bit fiddly. Let's just change the size of the brush up a bit and uh, get this filled in a bit quicker because it's not what I want to be doing. I, I want it a little bit more um, solid, I suppose, and, and less gaps that we get in. Here we go. So here, there we are. I'm starting to think, yeah, let's just um, pop that in. Get it filled in a bit. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm adding this darker wash to strengthen up the shadows and put in new shadows in that I hadn't done before. So the initial was just getting on sort of local colour and now I'm adding form to those buildings instead of just the flat colour. All on this uh, layer one. Oh, I can't believe I've done that. I'm just wondering if <laughs> I've got to at some point realise that I'm um, on the wrong layer. That colour's not quite the same. It's a little bit purple and it, it will need a little bit more blue popping into that. Canvas size, I wanted to paint um, 24 by 16 inch uh, canvas or something like that. 
and I've got the resolution really low. And this is actually only 1050 pixels deep and not much wider. So a bit later on, when I start to use fine brushwork, you, it really pixelates quite badly. And it took me a while to understand what was happening. But I have to say, I've done a test since because I'm thinking, oh, does that mean that this brush isn't going to work on a larger canvas? So I set up a new canvas, 24 inches by 16 inches, and tried the same brush again, just made it much bigger, and it worked beautifully. So um, although this canvas is really, really small and not a size I would normally paint on, it works just as well on a larger canvas. But unfortunately, when I start doing the fine detail, it does get quite pixelated. And you'll see that in a, in a little while. But that was really, really annoying. So I'm going to um, press on. I, I was going to just speed it up a little bit and get this second wash on where I'm just painting shadows. And at some point, I will swap to layer three, I'm sure. Okay, that's my second layer uh, done. And then what I do here, I create a uh, fourth layer. So uh, uh, third layer of painting, because uh, we've got one layer of drawing, and now three layers of painting. But I put it below the third layer deliberately because I just want to put a sort of a warm sienna, type, raw sienna type color just behind those grasses so they're not popping white and i use the um unclean brush again and then some uh light color just to soften those edges and i think i may even i'm using the eraser am i using the eraser no i'm still using that yeah i'm using the eraser i've turned the uh stylus the opposite way around and using that just to lift out some of the color that I painted onto those rocks because I didn't want it on those. I just want it on those grasses. And now you can see I'm using a, a lighter wash 
just to soften that bottom edge. Then add a little bit more color into the grasses. Just to warm, warm it up a little bit and take the harshness off that uh, foreground. I didn't want it to be quite so uh, dominant. It's really all about the cottages and then the foreground's a secondary point of interest really. So that's what I'm doing with the um, fourth layer. Just adding a warm wash underneath layer three. So this time I was deliberately working underneath the um, finished layer. And then you can see I'm just using the eraser just to flick out one or two more uh, grasses but this time much more um, discreetly than it was before I guess so I'm quite liking the old thing now but I think we need um, as printers would call the key layer when they print they print yellow magenta and cyan and then they put uh, black on but it's uh, K not letter B and that means the key and it just makes the black just makes everything pop well I'm not using black I'm going to be using uh, just darker washes of blues and browns and ochres and things but I just want to make the whole thing pop a little bit um, I'm still working on this fourth layer When I watch these videos back, I do wonder sometimes why I do things uh, the way I do. Because watching this back, I would have, once I'd finished that warm wash, I would have created a new layer there. But I guess I'm in the zone painting. I'm not really thinking um, too much about the layers that are secondary importance. To me, getting that image on there, I just want to... Um, get those colors on and see this finished painting that's unusual for me to actually zoom into something Now I'm using the eraser, so I've actually selected the eraser. I haven't flipped the pen over, but I've selected the eraser. I'm just going to try and lift an highlight out on the edge of that um, tile. And I'm going to struggle because I've got a pencil layer, three other painting layers, and they're all um, one a little bit erasing out and it's going to get blurry because I'm not going to erase it out in exactly the same place. So I do come up with a solution for this. And I decide that at this point I need to, um, I think, I think I'm going to merge some layers together. Let's see what happens. Do I do that? I think I do. So I merge all of the paint layers down into one layer. So now when I use the eraser, we should get a nice clean line. And I think in the end, I also merge in, yep, I decide that the pencil layer's got to be merged in. So I can lift out that sharp line look. Now, we, now we're cooking. Because um, I want to get some detail in the roof where the broken tiles are on the sort of building to the left and I couldn't really do that uh, unless I um, merged all the layers down to lift out this color so I'm just lifting out some highlights really so doing the opposite to what I did before I was painting in shadows I'm now getting some detail in with highlights 
totally contradicting what I said earlier about the key layer, where I was going to sort of make it pop with dogs, but that does come. Uh, just not yet. I decided I, I wanted these highlights popping in first. And you can see that makes a huge difference. I do start to get a little bit fussy though. That's a little bit too fussy, Steve. Stop doing that. Back in with colour again now. So I want to add some colour into the roof. Just so it's not quite so bland. I was on the uh, heavy bleed brush. So first time I've introduced another brush and then I go back in with the unclean brush again. And I decided that I now need to create a new layer uh, just because it was sort of um, merging in with the colors that were already on the canvas. So I needed to create a new layer to start adding this in, adding these uh, new colors. And then I can, I, I keep doing this process of merging the layers down. So I'm just going to speed it up again because this is a really long painting and I don't want to, I don't want the video to be like two hours long. So uh, please enjoy this music. So that's pretty much it, but I decided, I could leave it at that, but I decided to create one more layer and I just want to add some uh, darker shadows. So I very quickly decide that um, this layer needs to have its blend mode set to multiply. I think I've done that. And then I start putting in these uh, darker shadows just to um, finish off the, uh, painting and add 
just make it pop that little bit more just by adding these um, dark tones in and I go over pretty much the whole of the painting strengthening shadows uh, under the eaves uh, I add a few more grasses and things just adding little bits of um, shadows where I think it will benefit and make the picture pop that little bit more so that is pretty much it I really hope you've enjoyed this video if you have a big thumbs up as always is much appreciated if they're new to the channel please consider subscribing I've got loads of videos like this I'd love to be sharing them with you please have a go at this yourselves download the uh, source painting follow along with this video uh, if you've watched it watch it again it will give me an extra uh, view which always helps and um, post your pictures in um, digital easel that would be awesome so until next time uh, stay safe stay sane and keep painting and hopefully I'll see you all in the next one bye